Hello everybody, it's me Sam here for Ruby Gaming. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use and install XAMPP for Windows. Well, it would be for Windows, but it's XAMPP. Um, first of all, I like to do this now because uh, I reinstalled Windows 7, and as you can see, uh, everything's been uninstalled and whatnot. So you know, just keep it fast enough. And I thought, why not? While I'm installing XAMPP, because I'm going to need to ex install XAMPP one way or another. Um, I'll do it and record it. So a lot of people have been asking how to install it and whatnot, and uh, I'm going to go over how to do it and uh, hopefully just follow on and whatnot. So XAMPP basically is Apache and Friends, so it will install everything needed for a web server on Windows. So you've got your MySQL, uh, you've got FireZilla, um, and Apache are the main ones. And I'm going to show you how to install this and then how to maybe hook it up with uh, like a Minecraft plugin. So let's type in XAMPP. Now, if you're using um, Linux, you have LAMP, and if you're using uh, Mac, it's MAMP. Um, MAMP, sorry. And uh, basically, they're, they're the same type of thing, but uh, I just XAMPP is all of them, so I just use this one. So XAMPP for Windows. And you're going to want to go ahead and download it. Now, I'm doing, I haven't even looked at this. Before. I'm just doing it just by sheer luck, I guess. So download the installer, or you could do the zip. And we're gonna wait for this. Oops, all right, save the file, and it's going to take nine minutes to download. So I'll skip ahead to the future. Okay, welcome back. Uh, finished downloading it, so I'll just minimise that and uh, double click to open it. Yes, it's going to be quite a laid back tutorial. So I'm just doing it in my own time, you know, just like whatever. Uh, you'll get this thing here. Important Microsoft Vista might it probably applies to seven as well. Uh, if you're using UAC. Uh, which is like the thing that keeps popping up all the time. Um, you just can. It might just affect the install, but it should be fine. It should be fine. It might. Right. So hit next. Now this is where the location of your XAMPP is going to be. Um, I would definitely recommend it having it just in your C drive XAMPP, just for easier access. Just to you know, you know where it is. Then if you want to move it to your uh, programs directory, you can. But I'm just going to XAMPP. Now. These are all the services and whatnot. So, first of all, if you want to create a desktop item, I have to keep it clean. So, nope. Uh, create an Apache Friends folder in the start menu. Um, it's up to you. And I say no. Uh, these services are things that will run um, just all the time. So, if you primarily want it as a web server, then I would recommend ticking all these. But because uh, I just run it when I want to test stuff and whatnot, and it's not a web server, then I'm just going to leave those blank. So, uh, I don't know if you're running a MySQL server on it, then you might want to add it as a service. So, now it's going to run through the, its install. Uh, this might take a while, so uh, I'll come back to you when it's finished. Okay, now once it's fully installed, you should have a, a little CMD pop up and it'll just say have fun with XAMPP, that's all fine. And then you want to go ahead and click finish. And now it says congratulations, installation of XAMPP was successful. Would you like to see the control panel now? Hit yes. Uh, it says XAMPP component status check failure free, current directory, XAMPP run this program only from your XAMPP root directory. So it's just because it didn't run it from its direct root directory. So let's have a look to see where it's installed. So go to computer, C drive, XAMPP, or wherever you installed it. And it shows you all these folders here. So we have Anonymous, Apache, uh, PHP, MySQL, HDDocs, and all the starts and stops and whatnot. And uh, so let's just exit that. Let's run the 
xmp.control.exe. Uh, that may come up sometimes. Uh, it's totally fine. Just it's just warning you that it's not running from the root directory. I'm not sure why it's coming up, but I am running it from the root directory, which is the exit or whatever. Thing is, it still works. So you'll have these Apache Y, SQL, and FileZilla. You can turn them on whether or not you want them to be services or not, whether they're installed or not. But you're going to want to go ahead and start the MySQL um, module, and this may come up. Uh, you can access it online if you want to do that, but depending on your firewall, it's different. And just because for this tutorial, we're going to use have a look at that, um, or the MySQL, not MySQL, MySQL, and have a look at the PHP admin. We're going to start Apache as well. So they should be running uh, port 3306 and 80. You can modify this and whatnot. And we're going to open up our web browser now and type in local host. And we should see this splash screen up come up with XAMPP and choose your language there, I'm going to choose English and this is the accent control banner, you can see all the different bits in the slide, so let's have a look at the status and as you can see we can all see all the components and whether they are activated or not, so the MySQL database, PHP is activated, HTTPS uh, gateway, server side includes and stuff like FTP and Tomcat have not been run, but you can start them here. I can like start FireZilla or start Mer Mercury, but we won't go over that for this tutorial. But what you are going to be interested in is PHP MyAdmin. It's on the side here, or you can do localhost slash PHP MyAdmin. Click that, and now this is your kind of gateway to MySQL, your way of editing the tables. It's just a really great tool for doing so. Um, so for this story, I'm going to show you how to do a make a database and then uh, hook up your MySQL, my, your Minecraft server to it. So let's call our database Minecraft. Hit create, and we should have a table called Minecraft. So that's all great. We go back to localhost, which you see on the side here, and that's the database, and we haven't got any tables in it. So most plugins will. Um, create their own tables for it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's create a new Minecraft uh, server here. Let's just copy it from over here. Ah, oh, wow. I haven't installed Java yet. <laughs> no, it's not going to work. So be right back while I install Java. Okay, we've successfully installed Java. If you don't have to do that, then, uh, well, we shouldn't be doing this. Typical. Oracle has to register the Java development kit for some reason. Anyway, start the server. Java, or whatever you're using to start the server. And we're just going to generate this formula. Whilst it's doing that, let's download a plugin that uses MySQL. Oh, there we go. So, click that. Right, and then uh, download the suite. Just throw my only zip file there. So, I'm going to drag the core and I'll have mine in. I'll just have those two for now. It doesn't really matter. No, I'm still producing the thing. Right, so, we're going to enter the point. Let's start XM up again. So we have the plugins. 
and there we go so it's all loaded but it's using flat files at the moment to store data so we need to modify our configuration you can see I've used it a lot uh, let me see. my notepad pros oh, why did I open it? notepad we've now changed from notepad pros to just not pros at all, we can't even open this stupid file Right, it's actually readable now, so let's modify this to our needs. Now, by default, the username and password for XM MySQL is root and nothing, so these can stay the same. Uh, we'll change the flat database to MySQL. Uh, this is important as well the MySQL database directory. Now, this will be localhost if you're hosting it on the same machine. If you've got a MySQL server somewhere else, then this will be the IP of it whether it be internal or external IP uh, the port 3306 as you can see here they match up and the name of our database which we created if we go on to uh, PHP my admin, you'll notice that it was it was Minecraft anyway so that's all good save that and let's reload again so that notice that has nothing in it reload so now we go 11 mining unloaded and then it should say using MySQL to store data and then all loaded so let's refresh this aha we have one table and we call it experience table at the moment it has no entries but we can see the structure of it so let's take a look so there we are we can see the pre-fills there the ID of the player, the name of the player, and the mining experience they have of that. Depending on your levels, you have other ones and whatnot. So uh, let's log into Minecraft. Run my password. Seriously, fresh install and already it's lagging up like crazy. Probably because I'm running so much stuff as well as recording, but oh well. So this is just to show. Um, if you you can stop now if if you don't need, but I'm just going to show you how it updates and whatnot. So. Download. I have a bit of Minecraft yet since the install. Mm -hmm. I haven't got fraps running, so you're gonna have to bear with Camtasia style recording so multiplier now it's going to be local host or wherever your server IP is and uh, on the log we see same case logged in and as you can see I'm not going to crazy please open your inventory ok so now I'm going to what's the cool world Wow, the lag is crazy. If it lags again, then I'm just gonna quit. Right, so. As you can see, I always put myself the wrong tools. It's 270. So, let's do a level M. And it will show my mining level when experience and whatnot. So if we go onto the experience table, go 
second. And just browse. There we are. Oh, I already had it. You can see my ID of one, my name, and how much money experience I have. So if I actually do my house the right tool this time, and I mine something, there we are. I've gained experience while I mined that. We'll refresh this. And there we are, I've gained five experience. And now when I do level, oops, it cools up the database and then grabs my thing. So there we are, I've got 15 experience in the next level, I've gained five experience. And uh, that pretty much concludes the XAMP tutorial. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped a lot. I know people have been asking, I've just been pretty busy, and every time I try doing it, it's just messed up. And this has been no exception, it has messed up whilst doing this, but uh, I've managed to resolve the issues, but uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, uh, this is me Sam Gaper with Gaming, signing out.